The first two steps that you will want to take, I've already done in a process, so I'm going to just run through it really quick. You will want to take an antibacterial cleansing spray, which as you can see, this is for your nails and tools. This is by ASP, and I actually purchased this from Sally Beauty Supply. So you will want to go ahead and spray your nails down, as well as any tools or implements that you're going to use on your fingernails. And then after you complete that, then you will want to go in and just simply push your cuticles down now another product that you could actually use would be a product like this which is a cuticle remover and what you want to do is just take this and apply it to your cuticles and then proceed to push your cuticles back the next step would be to take a buffer and to just simply buff your nail and what this is going to do is just simply get the shine off of your nail and then after you do that you will want to go in with any um, nail tip of your choice. It might be a little hard to see mine because my nail tips are actually clear stilettos and I purchased these off of eBay. It was a U.S. Um, seller. It was about $500. And I think I paid like $2.99 or $3.99 for them. And they just come in some packaging like this. Um, the glue that I'm going to use to apply my fingernail is this Kiss brand. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it. Considering you can't even really see the nail, I'll do it off camera. I'm gonna do once you've gotten your nail tip applied to your nail, um, you want to take a couple of steps to make sure that yours pretty much looks really flat like mine. Um, and that first step would be to, number one, go in with a nail buffer. You can purchase this from Sally's Beauty Supply and get the shine off of that nail tip. And number two... Um, you can also take a nail file. This one is a Beauty Secrets nail file. I'm getting ready to um, switch this one out. But it's a 100-180 grit file. And what you will want to do is just file the tip, not your natural nail, but the actual tip until it's flush. Meaning that it's smooth with your natural nail. So those are two steps that you want to take. It does not call for this. This is just steps that I like to take okay and then after I file my nail with um after I get it flushed another step that I like to do is to go in with this product right here it's called Lime Be Gone and normally I use this with my acrylics um so that you can't really see that line when you fill your nails in but because I knew mine were going to be clear as you can see you can't tell where the tip begins or ends um, and, uh, so I purchased this, it's by Super Nail, and you can use this, um, and what you will want to do is just take the product, comes like this, okay, and it comes, it actually comes with a little brush already attached to the cap, and you will want to apply, apply this where the tip and the natural nail meet and if you're doing a refill then you will want to allow it to run under the edge a little bit and this again just helps to flush the nail tip with your actual fingernail the next step would be to apply a primer and you want to make sure that you're applying this primer to your natural nail, not the nail tip, not your cuticle or any of this skin, um, your finger or anything. Just the primer to the natural nail and not the tip. The primer that I like to use is by No Lift Nails. I did purchase this from Sally Beauty Supply. However, this gel acrylic system that I'm using, it actually comes with a primer and a couple of the other products that I chose to use. Um, but I had them already and I decided, you know, if it didn't work, then I would just go ahead and purchase the other products that went along with it. So what you want to do is just take your primer and this does also come with a little brush and again you want to simply apply this to your natural nail let it dry and then you're going to apply a second coat now that all of our nail prep is done it is now time to apply your product and the product consists of this gel acrylic gel and this is by shebanails.com 
and it also comes with a gel acrylic powder so it's a two-step um, process and the only other thing you're going to need is a UV lamp I this is what my lamp looks like if you watch my um, pink and white acrylic nail tutorial then a lot of these products you've seen already so um, this is what my lamp looks like if any of you are curious again I purchased mine from Sally Beauty Supply I'm almost positive they probably sell these same ones on eBay um, but mine is a 9 watt lamp first thing you want to do is take some of the gel acrylic gel and it comes on a brush just like a paintbrush and you will want to apply this to your nail in a very thin layer and you want to make sure that you avoid getting it on your cuticle and on um, the sides of your nails you know you want to have it on your side walls but you do not want to get it on this skin once you've applied that thin layer of gel you want to give it some time give it a couple seconds to um, level itself out if you want to turn your fingernail over or what have you um, but this is pretty good at level leveling itself out you want to take a small scoop and you want to take the gel acrylic powder and you're going to simply sprinkle this all over um, your fingernail where the gel was applied and then what you're going to do is take and turn your finger over making sure to tap the excess powder off of your fingernail and this is just going to cling to wherever the gel acrylic was applied now what you want to do is if you want you could take a timer and I just have a timer you want to set it for 60 seconds and you're actually going to sit for the first for the first time you're going to sit your nail under your UV lamp for 60 seconds once you've let that coat um, that first layer of gel sit for 60 seconds under your lamp then what you will want to do is you can actually set your timer so that you don't forget set your timer for two minutes because the next one has to sit under the UV lamp for two minutes so set your timer for two minutes and put another coat on and you can make this one a little bit thicker you don't need to go too thick and again it's just like painting your nails take your time especially with your non dominant hand because you don't want this gel to be messy you want it to be really smooth so that you can just go right in with some polish and whatever nail designs you want when you're done once you get that second layer of gel painted on again allow it to level up and as you can see it's really good at self leveling okay so you want to allow that to set up for a couple seconds and then you're going to do just like you did with the first layer you're going to sprinkle the powder onto your nail make sure that the entire nail is covered and then what you're going to do is just take and flip your nail upside down and then tap the excess off so just take your fingernail tap it off okay and now you're going to go ahead and sit under the lamp for two minutes if your last layer if you didn't already you can actually go in and file you know and shape your nail however I did that already prior to applying any of my gel when I um, flushed the tip to my natural nail I made sure I shaped it and everything so I didn't have to mess with the gel too much so what I'm going to do now is go in with my last layer of the um, the gel acrylic gel and this one doesn't have to be that thick either because this is just going to be that nice shiny top coat and you're going to allow this to sit under your UV lamp for two to three minutes I actually do three minutes okay so it's one then two then three minutes two steps with the powder the last step no powder alright love so after you have sat under your UV lamp for three minutes you want to go in with a cleansing product that's going to get that sticky layer the tacky layer of gel 
off of your nail. I used my IBD. This worked perfectly fine. However, the Sheba Gel Acrylic, um, this, this system actually comes with its own cleanser and primer. So if you wanted to, you could just order the entire system from them. I Again, I already had a couple of the products laying around. The only thing I didn't have was the gel and the powder. So I just simply ordered the gel and the powder. And I've had great results. I'm not, um, I didn't have any lifting or anything. So you want to go ahead and these are lint-free wipes. And I purchased these from... Sally Beauty Supply. I can't remember how much they were, but I'm sure they weren't that expensive. And it comes with 200 wipes. And you will want to just go ahead and wipe the tacky layer off so that you'll be left with a nice, hard, firm, and shiny nail. Okay? Don't use a cotton pad because that lint will stick to the um, that tacky layer that you're trying to take off. You need some lint-free wipes. Definitely some lint-free wipes. Um, in order to take care of that tacky layer if you do not have the IBD cleanser plus or whichever brand of cleanser that you use for your gel nails then I believe it's 70% isopropyl alcohol that'll work just fine okay um, another tip will be to keep this away from your UV lamp because the UV lamp will harden this up so make sure every time you turn your lamp on to close this up and move it away. I like to put a box in front of mine and move my lamp down the table. You would also want to make sure that you cure your thumbs separately. Make sure that you either do them first or last because I made that mistake not paying attention. And I was curing my thumb and it was sideways which was the worst mistake you could possibly make. And when I took it out that last layer I ended up having to file this all the way down. And I just used my little hand file and I was glad I made that mistake because um, you know things like that I can tell you guys about. But you would just simply have to file it down and redo it. That's the good thing about gel you know. This does not have a smell to it at all. That's actually the reason why I got it because that smell from the acrylic in the house, I just couldn't take it anymore. Also, you can put this on your natural nails. You would just not put the tip on but still take those same uh, prepping tips because you want to make sure that you're doing the correct steps for adhesion. But you could do this on your natural nail without having a tip on and just grow your nails out that way I'm actually going to probably end up doing that but I wanted to see you know I wanted to show you guys what it looked like with the tips I'm going to do a painted design I'm not necessarily sure what yet but I just wanted you guys to see what the product looks like pretty much in raw form without anything else going on with it I need to get ready to wash my hands but if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below also, I believe Sheba Nails has a YouTube channel as well as, you know, their website. So if there's any questions that I can't answer about the product, please feel free to contact them because after all, it's their company and they are probably a hundred times better at answering the questions than I'll ever be. But that's it. I hope you dolls enjoyed the tutorial. And as always, and until next time, have a gorgeous day, dolls. Smooches. Mwah. Bye.